really George Kassebaum was, uh, for me, the sort of epitome of what an architect should be. I, I remember the first time that, uh, that we met, I saw him drive up. He drove a kind of olive gray uh, uh, Jaguar. And he got out of the car and was in an elegant suit and always had sort of silver white hair. Well, George Kassebaum was the quintessential professional. His demeanor was professional. His attitude was professional. He represented architectural people in a very professional way, not only locally, but regionally and nationally. He was at Washington U before he was with the firm as a teacher here, and uh, then went to the firm and became a partner after a certain number of years, a partner with George Helmuth and Guy Obata. I got to know George Kassebaum uh, at Washington University. I was starting out in the profession and he was already hugely successful. He had recently been president of the College of Fellows of, uh, of the AIA. And what you got from George was a, a sense of somebody who really cared about you. When he sat down, if, you know, and I was, I was somebody just in a sense reporting, but he would look at you and you felt that he really at that moment was listening to you and what you were saying was the most important thing that he could hear. We were working on this project for Our Lady of the Snows. There was a, a difficulty after it was finished, there was a, a little bit of a leak in the roof. And so we all went over, we had a meeting, and um, the fathers over there s said to George, uh, well now, HOK should take care of this. And he said, well, of course, we'll take care of it. And they believed him, and we did. We took care of it. In those days, HOK really didn't have any insurance. Really? Right. Really? Oh. It was a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that uh, George would be very proud of uh, the way in which the firm has continued to grow and has stayed true to, uh, to a mission that talks about service to people. It was something that he embodied in his life uh, and it's something that I believe is really uh, an underlying strength and philosophy of HOK. George was the president of the local AIA and he was the president for two terms with the national AIA, when that's an unusual to be president for two terms. Everybody trusted George, and they, they really, they believed what he said, and people would go to him if they had a problem in the knowledge that they would get sound, thoughtful advice. George's philosophy went beyond architecture, and architecture was part of it, but his, I think, was a, a philosophy of life. I was told later, and I assume it's true, that. When he died, he was working on a uh, book about uh, the life and thoughts of Marcus Aurelius, the, uh, the classical stoical poet and author. And that really embodied George's uh, uh, attitude to life, that, uh, that you embraced it, uh, but always, uh, always embraced it with a, a little bit of a, of a critical aloofness that gave you a sense of, uh, of, of power and understanding to, uh, to make the most of it. George was the kind of person who could ameliorate difficulties and work through uh, difficulties between his other two partners, in which he was still part of it, but was able to use his influence to uh, make things come out so that the partnership could last. I think that kind of uh, demeanor, that kind of personality, had a tremendous impact in our firm. And it, uh, everybody understood it, everybody recognized it, and it, it created a great deal of respect. At his funeral here at Washington U, it was uh, in, uh, in the chapel, and I've never seen the chapel as crowded either before or since. Uh, it was absolutely packed standing room. And uh, the, uh, the principal eulogy was given by the head of the FBI at the time, uh, who happened to be a friend of George, but it seemed to me kind of fitting and, and a real show of his probity that you could have the director of the FBI come from Washington and give your eulogy. Well, the thing that most comes to my mind about George Kassebaum, and I would dare to say comes to most anyone who ever knew him, whether in our firm or in the profession, is he was the best representative of the professional architect that you could ever have.